just got your shiny new iPhone 16. Congratulations. This device is packed with incredible features and today I am sharing 20 plus essential tips and tricks to help you get the most out of it. I have been using this phone for the last 30 days and these are my personal tips and tricks that I have found out about this phone. So let's jump right in. Let's start with battery health. Keeping your iPhone's battery in top shape is key to long term performance. So for that you will have to go to settings, battery, then battery health to check your battery stats. Aim for a maximum capacity close to 100% or a low cycle count. Second, use the new charge limit feature in iOS 18. Set a charging cap like 80% to prevent overcharge and reduce battery wear. Next, enable optimized battery charging to delay full charging until you actually need it. This is perfect for overnight charging and for best results, use a low watt charger overnight and avoid exposing your phone to extreme heat. Simple habits like this can significantly extend battery life. Okay. So now let's talk about some camera tips. The iPhone 16 takes photography to the next level with their new camera control. So to use it, press once to capture a photo, press and hold to zoom in, zoom out smoothly. And you can also double press to switch between modes like other camera features, portraits or video. So you can even customize the camera control. To do that, go to settings, camera, camera control, choose your favorite app like let's say Instagram. And this is how you can use it iPhone 16 introduces a powerful new feature called photographic styles. This allows you to customize the look and feel of your photos by adjusting tones, colors and contrast. You can choose from a variety of preset styles or create your own custom one. This feature is particularly useful for capturing consistent and visually appealing photos, especially for content creators and photographers like me. iPhone 16 camera has one more useful feature. Audio mix. This feature allows you to adjust the way voices sound in your videos using three different voice options. The first one is in frame, captures only the voices of people on camera. Number two is studio, makes the voices sound like they are recorded in a professional studio. And the last one is cinematic, it captures all the voices and consolidates them towards the front of the screen. Up next, let's talk about messaging and typing. Did you know that the latest release of iOS 18 has the feature to add scheduled messages to your texts? To do that, you just have to compose a text, set a time and your phone will send it automatically. This feature can be useful to set reminders or late night texts. Up next, you can also add flair to your text messages with text effects like bold, italics or animated styles. This will make your chats look a lot more fun. And lastly, for the large phones, Try this one hand keyboard. It shifts the keyboard to one side making it easier to type with one hand. And for multilingual users, the bilingual keyboard lets you switch between languages seamlessly without even adjusting a setting. Let's talk about Safari and other tips. Sometimes websites can be cluttered with ads and pop-ups and to save you from that, there is the reader mode. Open the Safari web page and tap on the menu icon at the address bar. Select the show reader to strip away all distractions. This mode gives you a clean and easy to read version of a page perfect for articles and blogs. You can also press and hold on the menu icon to toggle this option. A web page is often filled with many unwanted distracting elements, be it ads, sign in prompts or cookie preference pop ups. And to remove it, you can use the Safari distraction control feature to hide the static unwanted elements of the web page. And here's how to do it. Open the Safari web page and tap on the menu icon at the address bar. Here, select hide distracting items from the menu. And now select the elements you want to hide and tap the hide button that appears. And now if you want to unhide the hidden items, just tap on the menu icon and press show hidden items. And then again tap show. Lastly, one of my personal favorite feature of iOS 18 is to customize home screen, where you can rearrange app, change the icon size, and you can also choose variety of themes to make your home screen look truly unique. And to watch a detailed video on how to customize your home screen, just tap on this info card. The new iPhone 16 introduces the action button, which replaces the traditional mute switch. This lets you customize action like launching the camera, activating focus mode, or even opening shortcuts, which basically gives you quick actions to what matters the most. Now to customize your action button, just go to settings, press on action button. Here you have multiple options to customize your action button. I will choose this recognize music option which helps you find the songs that are playing in the surroundings. And now you can also further customize these quick actions like now in camera you have the option to take a selfie, take a video or a portrait or a portrait selfie. Again in the focus action 
you will have the option to do not disturb, reduce interruptions and you can toggle other focus modes as well. Moreover, you can also choose some accessibility features. And that was all for the 20 plus essential tips and tricks of iPhone 60. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe it with your fellow iPhone friends. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.